Hello there, I'm Forge Tech, and this is the Enclave Camp Bundle and the Equalizer Power Armor. Now, I'm going to start off with the Equalizer Power Armor. Now, I was looking at this thing, and it looks familiar for some reason. I realized this is actually, as I don't know this for 100%. But based off the modeling, I'd almost bet you this is uh, like an updated model for Frank Horgan's power armor from Fallout 2. He was literally an Enclave officer that was turned into a super mutant. And then they built specialized power armor just to make him even meaner. And this looks... I looked at some of the old photos of this and it looks almost identical to it. With the helmet design and the shoulder design. And I think that's a really cool kind of like backtrack to original games. And as you can see, it's got some nice detail work. It's banged up a bit. Has some rust along the edges. I mean, they, they put a good bit of work in this. The helmet looks brilliant. The shoulders. I mean, this is a really nice looking design that... It looks like it's seen combat. It looks like it's been out there. I mean, you can look at the shoes down at the bottom are all banged up and muddy and everything. I mean, this is not some pristine out of a box power armor. This is, it has seen action. It has come through it. And it is the person that is still standing on the other side. And it just looks good on all of that. And I definitely love the fact that it not only has a good model, but even has a bit of a backstory to it, which I think is really cool. That they use the previous game. Now, this is the Enclave building set. Now, I've got this over here. This is... like the, the, You have the doors, the things, like all that, but I'm going to showcase... Now, there's a flat wall, a window wall, and this kind of closed window and a door set. Now, I have, <clears throat> over here, used the Enclave lights that come with it, as well as this is the Enclave ceiling. Which, the Enclave ceiling, I think has some nice riveting and stuff. Now, it didn't come with a floor pack. I think that's kind of what the military for in the season is maybe for, but I just went with wooden, but this is the Enclave wallpaper. It kind of looks like that, you know, bunker wallpaper. It's like an office wallpaper. It's nice wooden inlay. It has some nice detail work. Like you see scratches on the wood and all that. Like I said, once again, I really like Things that look like they've been used. I have things that just look spit and polished. It doesn't look like it lasted through a, you know, a war. Even these little rivets have that nice little rusted out design. It's a very nice wallpaper if you're looking for something. Now, I wanted to give it, this is the flat wall right here. And this is the actual Enclave set that I've used for the interior. I wanted to showcase the lamps in here. They're not super bright. They're not going to be fill lamps. Um, they do look good, though. I mean, they've got this nice little snug, simplistic style to them um, that makes them very useful in certain situations. Like, I could put these above my workbenches where they take up very little space and they're so close to the wall that you really don't notice them that much. As you can see, this is the window version of it. Not very good visibility, but it does have that military vibe to it. This is the... I guess this is a closed window. Because they have the same design, just one's open and one's closed. Um, I was kind of hoping that this would be like a... They had an open version and a closed version that I could just press it like the wooden windows. But it still gives a nice detail concept point um, with everything. This is the door plus the laser door. This is the flat laser door. 
as you can see off and on it has a slightly visible like aspect to it that you can see through it but you can't walk through it unless it's open so that's nice it definitely has a nice look to it it actually is bigger than the doorway which kind of makes it a snugger fit it is banged up out here you can see that it's got some wear and tear and damage which makes it look a bit more believable like you can see paints peeled back rusting along the base i mean it does look like it's seen some stuff i'm glad that they've started making stuff that looks like this now i've placed this power armor station just for size comparison and stuff i put this one in a bit of light so you can see it better that's the open window set this is the closed wall the door and i'd put another window here so i can build a little structure in here now i've i've put the lamps lights in here but i'm using a fill light right now just so you can see the detail work now like i said the door looks brilliant it's got a lot of detail it's got a lot of you know beaten up kind of vibe to it looks like it's been hit by you know a lot of stuff the walls themselves definitely have the little you know it doesn't look like it's that pristine it also doesn't look like it's just been abandoned the, even the roof tiles have this nice little peeled off paint look to them that's why i wanted to use the fill lights so you could really see the detail on this now they do have all of the standard issue pieces like you know angled roofs slanted slots everything like that but i felt like this would give you a good enough selection to really see and understand what it looks like now finally we have the turrets which probably the most exciting piece for me was these now they are animated they do look terrifying in the dark this red light actually stays lit up at night, really visible. So you just see that red light just glowing in the dark. It's quite scary and intimidating looking. But they have a really nice design to them. And like I said, they've got that whole looks like they've been worn out and just stuff. But they the, the guns actually will angle up and open fire and so this is your standard machine gun turret as you can see when i get close enough to it um now the heavy machine gun turrets right here now if you aim at the top you have to aim at the bottom to see it so i mean they hit the same level they are just a skin as far as i can tell i've not done extensive field testing on them but I believe that they are just a skin for your standard gun turrets. And But if they look really nice. They have a really good animations. They just look awesome in combat. As you can see each time, you got the laser turret, the heavy laser turret. And they do a little bit of details that are different on each model to make them visibly different. You got the shotgun turret over here and finally the uh, missile turret and they look great if you're trying to build an enclave base it's definitely worth picking them up i uh, i personally probably would have picked them up even if they weren't an enclave bundle just because of it i, I hope they re-release these as well with maybe a different color scheme so that I can use them in any base. But like I said, you when I get in close, you can see the detail of it. Definitely the wear and tear, the rust. These look like they've been out there in the wasteland for 25 years. Oh, I mean, they don't look like they've just come off of a factory line. And I think they did an excellent job with those. And 
to and I did try wiring these up. They wire to the base of the turret, right to the front. Now, as you can see, the cable going into it. They will not wire between each other because they're too low. So you're going to have to put something to actually chain it or just place a thing on the wall like this. And otherwise, though, they look good and I have no issue with them. And I look forward to building crazy things with them. And with that, I hope it helped you with the Enclave Camp Bundle and the Equalizer Power Armor.